series we are going to learn about the Google Maps JavaScript API so what is this Google Maps JavaScript API so let's learn that uh, before that we need to understand what is an API so API is basically a way uh, for two systems to interact with each other or communicate with each other you can also say that API is a set of tools or methods that can be used for building software applications the full form of uh, API is application programming interface so what does Google Maps API do? Uh, Google Maps API allow you to display maps on your website. Uh, now, Google Maps API allows you to uh, access its own set of classes, uh, its methods, properties, events, custom events, uh, so that you can go ahead and display the maps and you can also get the address, location, the pin and everything. Okay, so let's uh, quickly discuss how to go ahead and display the map. On your site uh, so what you can do is you can create three files one is index.php second is style.css and third is javascript.js uh, in your one of your uh, projects and uh, in the code editor you can write these set of codes uh, which is nothing but the doc type HTML in the head section you have the title the link to the style sheet um, and then in the body you have the uh, label with the label you have the input fields like uh, the uh, text for the search box uh, for lang uh, long latitude and longitude input fields and then you also have the div with the idea of map canvas so that this is where the map from Google will be displayed okay and then I'm using the JavaScript uh, fi .js file so I'm going ahead and putting the source of that file over here and this is something that I'll be explaining to you in a moment okay but the first thing we need to do is basically get the key of the Google API okay so you can go into this link which is uh, developers.google.com uh, forward slash maps forward slash documentation forward slash JavaScript forward slash tutorial once you go into that you will see that uh, they have explained what are the set of HTML codes you need to write uh, you know what are the set of functions um, and methods and how is it that you need to use the classes to be able to do it so in case if you want to find the reference uh, to the methods uh, and classes that the Google Maps API, JavaScript API provides, you can always uh, refer to this. Uh, but uh, to save time, uh, since I have done my own research, you can save time by you know going through this small tutorial uh, with a list of tutorials, and it's going to explain to you how to go ahead and create maps uh, for your site. Okay, so first thing you need to do is basically get a key. So you need to click on get a key, and then click on create a new project and then you can name anything you can name this project anything so let's say I want to name it as uh, Google I can say my Google Maps JavaScript JS yes, API okay you can name that click on next uh, okay come and create a project let me just check what's the reason we need to refresh it. Okay, let's just name it as my projects. And this is going to generate a key for you. So just taking some time to that time, I just pause the video. So you can see this is generated uh, key. So you just need to copy this key. okay uh, you can go into your index.php and at the end you need to write script async differ source and then you need to provide with the this particular link which is https maps.googleapis.com maps api js key and key is equal to so the key is equal to which is this part basically is you need to go ahead and uh, you know put your key over here okay this till this part and then you put and libraries is equal to places and callback is equal to initialize. I will explain to you in a moment what these are. But I uh, think if you go on to <coughs> the Google Maps API JavaScript tutorial, you can see in the script, you need to put this link, which is the link to Google Maps API. And then you need to p uh, put the key as equal to this and callback is equal to uh, your function that you want to use in the JavaScript. 
and you need to put async defer so you can just use mine i will be providing with the link of all of these codes uh, into my grid repositories you can go ahead and download from there uh, you shouldn't have to worry about typing uh, but uh, for understanding purposes i will go ahead and go through them so you can pause the video and if you want to you know write along with me then that's fine okay cool so this is pretty much uh, it in the index.php and uh, now in the javascript.js uh, you need to write create a function which is called initialize and that is the name of the function you need to pass over here in the parameter of callback so callback is a good initialize so when the script reaches over here it loads up your javascript file and all of the codes inside of it and then uh, and the next line it will go ahead and get the javascript uh, google map api and it's going to call the initialize function okay so next thing you need to do is you need to create some variables so i've created map options element map marker all of these uh, things and then i'm also going ahead and um, getting the elements which are created already which is your address ele input element your latitude input element and longitude input element so as you know that you can use document dot query selector you know get the id of so this is basically the address input element this is the latitude input element and this is longitude input element the reason why we are taking this in variables so that we can go ahead and insert the values later on in the series uh, to go ahead and uh, put the values of the latitude and longitude when the user changes the pin of the map okay so <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create uh, an object uh, called map options okay and inside the map options we will set up different properties like zoom we can put it to 8 which is how far the map should zoom in and center uh, will be uh, you know there are two ways to write center first you can use the lat long method of google.maps uh, object okay and uh, you can define the latitude and longitude values or you can just instead of doing this you can also do this and define your um, values of lat and long okay so this is basically the center of the key so i'll explain that to you in a bit okay so I'll just follow along with me and then in a moment you'll understand everything so um, I'll explain all of these a little, little bit later. Okay, so this is what you need to do. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get the element, uh, which is the map canvas. In fact, what we can do is we can also uh, define this on top. Okay, we can get rid of this. So we've got the address element, uh, got the latitude element, longitude element, and also got the map canvas element, okay, <clears throat> which is basically the uh, this div element where the map will be displayed, okay. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, set this variable equal to new Google dot maps dot method map, okay, and then we'll pass. It takes two parameters. This is a predefined um, method of Google dot maps Google API okay and it takes two parameters one is the element which is where the map needs to be displayed which is this element that we have stored into uh, this variable element and the next is map options so what are the options you know how much is the zoom what it should be the center of the um, uh, the map okay and things like that okay so all we have to do is this and all of this these things have been defined inside of the initialize function and once we do that we up into our project and sure enough you can see we've got a map over here <clears throat> okay um right okay so there's there's no marker we have to create a marker okay so you can see this is the address field okay we have created the address field using this label then we have the latitude input and longitude input so these are the latitude and longitude input fields and we have stored their values inside of these variables okay and then <clears throat> this is the the okay i'll just show that to you this is the div which is uh, which was the empty div map uh, dash canvas this is the div and this is where the map has been inserted by the google api so you can see that inside of this we have this map right so inside of this we have this map 
Okay, so this has been put by Google. Now we also need to do some styling. So you know you can go ahead and copy the styling since this tutorial is not uh, going to focus on CSS, but these are some bit of CSS I've done for HTML body, map canvas, height 100%, margin, padding, and height and width and padding and all of these stuff. So you can just copy this if you want. Uh, okay. Now, so this is how we'll display the map in case you want that onto our uh, site. You have got the zoom in and everything. Okay, and in the next video, we're going to learn how to place markers. You know, you had seen that red thing over here, which was the marker of the map. We're going to learn how to create that. So in this video, you've learned how to create the map for your site. And now in the next video, we'll learn how to create the marker. Okay, see you guys.